uh, we have a very short um, coding part. So the thing that I want to do is implement this kind of card pose swing up. Uh, you can see it in the um, right side in the uh, laboratory environment. The objective is make this kind of uh, card pull in a way that it, it will be balanced and uh, from the top, so we don't have this kind of rotation. So they are trained uh, this uh, card pull, uh, this bundle, and uh, you can see, for example, in the third uh, training, it just uh, it takes five seconds. It, they continue the training, uh, and uh, you will see what happened after, I guess, six or seven uh, uh, episodes of the training. On the left side, you will see the same thing in the uh, in the uh, virtual environment that get power of uh, reinforcement learning. So I just uh, let you see uh, this video till the end. Okay. Yeah. You see that it uh, gives the help of the human to just uh, being uh, uh, fixed at the for the uh, first uh, uh, state. So uh, I guess it will be really soon, so. Yeah, the agents learned how it could be accomplished, the task. And you see that by some kind of uh, pressure that we call, we can call it, for example, randomness, some kind of uh, things that there are in the environments that maybe the agent was not provide, uh, uh, the, it's not uh, informed about. Uh, you saw that it works really perfectly. So, uh, uh, we, for the implementation, we get uh, we we get uh, pow get power of the Open GI uh, Open AI uh, library that called Gem. So it is a, an API for reinforcement learning because till now, by sure, you understood designing the environment for the agent is really complicated. Most of the time, uh, we work in simulated environments and having this kind of environment is also uh, really complicated. So OpenAI is a library, is an API that has different type of, uh, uh, different type of um, environment for us. There are um, uh, Python friendly environments. You can develop a, um, uh, your custom environment or you can just try to train uh, your agent in the environment that exists. You can see that uh, the environment for this card pool also exists in, in a, I guess, physical environment, something like this. Uh, this is the link that you can just go and there is a really great uh, um, the documentary for each of these kind of uh, scenarios. And uh, there are a lot of uh, great uh, explanation for each type of the uh, reinforcement learning uh, algorithms that they use. I provide uh, this kind of um, Git repository, repository that uh, I will share with you as well. Sorry. And so what happened here uh, in this uh, repository, you are seeing that, uh, for example, um, first of all, it's, um, sorry, let me, uh, I, uh, I developed the code in um, a collab environment. So, okay, no, it is not the thing. So uh, I mean, I need to share it with you. It is not a thing that I have.
Okay. Uh, I provide the code in Colab uh, environment so that I'm sure that you are uh, familiar with it. So uh, there is a block of text, also block of code. So I try to put some kind of comments uh, in the middle. Uh, first of all, I just uh, try to... Uh, I, I will uh, I will uh, run it block by block. So the first of all, I need to install some uh, dependencies. The thing that I'm using is Jim, the library that I mentioned. I will use Cross and Cross for reinforcement learning for version two. So because I already um, run the code, so okay. Uh, I prefer to run it in uh, Google. If you have any question, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you, Salma, for your presentation. You're very welcome. <laughs> I, I just try to open my Git uh, GitHub. It's not uh, the password is not uh, safe. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> yeah. I just uh, wants to connect it to my GitHub. I guess if you just search for GitHub uh, and my name, you also okay. can have access to the code. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we will do very short. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. GitHub. There's a reinforcement learning uh, folder <laughs> inside. So uh, this reinforcement learning card uh, pool is a uh, environment that we have. So I open it in a collab. You can also have access, I, I believe. So first of all, I uh, install some kind of dependencies. It's Jim, the library, the cross, and um, uh, the cross reinforcement learning version two. So uh, if uh, uh, you, you know that in uh, Colab you can get uh, uh, advantage of the GPU if, for example, you have very, uh, very uh, heavy uh, model, so you can take advantage of the GPU or TPU. So uh, you can, for example, here comes and define which type of the processor you want to use. For example, I decide to use GPU. I guess the training will take a little time because uh, the number of the step is uh, um, a lot, but uh, the other parts of the code is very simple, straightforward. We don't have any type of problem for that. So uh, we, uh, I import Jim on the top, but I need to import random uh, function, uh, random function as well. After that. Uh, I want to use, I told you that I want to use one of the environment that are, that is already developed in the Gym uh, API. So I just call it like this with a make function. I just call uh, this kind of um, environment. And uh, please uh, look at this uh, Gym library, open AI. Please uh, look at this kind of um, documentation. Uh, it's great because you can see that in the, uh, in the category of environment, there are really different type of uh, environment for the Atari games that we saw the plot for comparison. So, uh, okay. Uh, for uh, this type of environment, for toy text, if you want, for classic control that I'm using now, this one, card pull, the box 2D, for example, this type of kind of environment, 
and also you can customize you can create the environment that you want it doesn't mean that you don't uh, for example in other kind of environment you can also design your environment and just uh, train your agent inside so after that if uh, uh, you read about this uh, uh, classic control card call you will see here that there are two type of action that i can take push card to the left to the right and there are four different observation or estate that you can see here these are all information that i need for this game so the actions the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, estate the uh, the uh, estates that I could have, the reward that uh, could be uh, uh, the threshold reward is uh, 475. It's based on the uh, time timing that the, this kind of uh, 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 pendule could be balanced. So it is the other thing that we should uh, pay attention. And if we pass the threshold, there is the uh, the mm, rules or uh, uh, there is the uh, rules that may be, be failed or the episode terminate when the pole uh, uh, angle will be greater uh, or less than this, uh, when card position is greater than this, and when episode length is greater than 500. So it means that the maximum reward that we can take in this environment is 500. So based on this inform information, I just called my environment I get my action and my state I just show it uh, to being sure that the number oh, sorry I didn't run this one I guess. so I showed that there are four states as we saw before two actions and here I just um, use very simple function um, not a function we just uh, write very simple uh, code to run the game for 10 episodes and we just, um, uh, at the beginning, we restart the environment and the score will be zero. So this game will be uh, continued till the time that the done uh, value will be set to true. And what happened, we, can, we just choose one action as a random uh, from this value, zero or one, the action space that we saw. And just by this, line of code environment step it says that which action we need to take on this uh, step that we have we calculate the probability and after that we calculate the reward based on the output of this function as an output we will have the number of states the reward and some information and uh, we calculate the total reward or return so if i run it's 10 episodes by sure it will be finished uh, finish very um, uh, very fast you can see that uh, the maximum okay the maximum uh, score is uh, reached at the uh, at the episode 7 we got the score of 46 and don't forget that the maximum score that we could get in this game is 500. It is reinforcement learning. The agent learned by itself to reach to this kind of a score, but we don't get advantage of deep learning or DQN as a backend. So we try to implement the uh, deep learning agent with CRASS. I need some dependencies if uh, by sure you are familiar with this part because if you had some type of uh, coding in um, uh, in uh, CNN, you know uh, that we usually use sequential models. We have two types of layers, dense and flatten uh, for the end. And we use different, uh, we can use different type of uh, uh, optimizer uh, and uh, we, in this case, I just uh, import Adam. So uh, reinforcement learning, like uh, machine learning, is nothing else than uh, optimization problem. So I import the dependencies, and after that, what happened here? We defined a function uh, 
that as an output, as an input, sorry, it gives a state and action, and this is the structure of our network. It is uh, something that we usually use for uh, um, um, convolutional neural network as well. So we uh, have the sequential model. We flat the image, the uh, frame that we have, with, uh, and as an input shape, we give the state. After that, we have two dense layer with 24 neurons in each. For the activation function, we use ReLU uh, because it shows that uh, has a good performance. And we, at the end, we will have one layer that just uh, give us the, uh, the probability of each action and the activation function is linear that is used here. So this is the architecture of our model, something like CNN. I don't run this code because uh, the, you, you can see maybe some error happen later. We need to delete the model, rebuild the model again, and after that it, it works. So I just uh, define the function. Now I build the model based on the things that I uh, uh, defined earlier. And this is the summary of the model exactly the thing that uh, we mentioned there. We flat the, uh, the input, we have for, uh, 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 for a, a state, we have two dense layer and we, ha we will do the uh, decision at the, at the end. So the total uh, hyperparameter is not too much in this case. So after that, we need to uh, build our agent so the things that we are using is agents from reinforcement learning, policy, and the memory. So I just import the dependency. The agent, the thing that we saw is uh, um, a deep Q uh, network agent, the same as the thing that we saw. For the policy, there are different type of policy that we can use. Also for the agent, there are different type of uh, agent that you can use. Uh, sorry, agent uh, reinforcement uh, cross reinforcement learning. Okay. You can see here, for example, DQN agent and different other type of agent that we can use. For policies also, we can use different type of policies. This is Bosman policy, but it is uh, from policy learning, not value learning. We have, uh, for example, uh, I, I believe there is random uh, policy for, uh, we can change later the policy to run it again. And after that, we have sequential memory. So. I just built the agent, we define the policy, we define the uh, sequential uh, times that we want to um, uh, do the training. And after that, for the agent, what we pass as an input, the mo model, the memory, and the policy. So, and uh, the number of the actions that we have, and uh, the number, uh, and uh, these are just the uh, uh, learning rate that we defined. So we built the agent. Okay, so I give this error. I need to delete the model. Sorry, uh, I was uh, trying to fix this model uh, before the meeting, but I just find this solution that I can. Okay, and now I am uh, compiling the model in the environment that I have, and uh, I just use the uh, uh, mean absolute uh, error as a metric for the for calculate uh, this kind of uh, loss function. And as an optimizer, we have uh, Adam with this learning rate. So we compile the model, and after that, we fit the model with this number of uh, a step. Uh, the visualization for now is false. We don't do any visualization, but uh, you can see it takes a little time, but uh, uh, we 
lets the model will train. After that, if you had uh, access, if you have access to the code and you get this kind of attribute uh, error, please uh, delete the model, rebuild it again, and run the rest. It will be solved. After uh, I train the model, I do the test with this number of episodes and um, uh, we see that how the performance uh, will be uh, for the testing. So uh, it takes a little time. After that, we will see the performance of the test. And we can do the visualization. I guess it will be enough for uh, today. So um, before I use another policy, Okay, because uh, I use another policy, random uh, uh, random uh, search policy instead of uh, this Boltzmann uh, policy, and it was the type of performance for the testing that I got. You see, for example, I had 100 episodes, and at the end, I had some rewards around 100, 177 at this step. Okay. The reward by itself was not very high when I changed the, uh, the policy. But I, now I choose another policy and we will see what could be the reward. Uh, 